Hi guys, welcome to the session. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about the cross validation and what is a cross validation. How to train a decision tree by using a cross validation. Whether if you change the cross validation number of holes, whether the, it will be increase or decrease if you apply a different classifier. So we will discuss in this session. Uh, let's start our session. Uh, today's our experiment is going to discuss about the this is the title of our experiment. One approach for solving the problem encountered in the previous question by using a cross validation. The previous question is nothing but how to train a decision tree and how the decision tree will be constructed. It's all discussed. Now, in this, in this, we are going to discuss about the cross validation and how to train a decision tree again, the cross validation with the changing of the different number of folds and applying with the different classifiers. Uh, whether the accuracy will be increased or decreased will be identified here. Let's start our session. First of all, what is a cross validation? A cross validation is a technique that is used for the assessment of how the results uh, of a statistical analysis generalized to an independent data set. For example, if you are applying any one of the data set, whether the statistical data or statistical analysis part will be generalized and it can be assessed by using the cross validation technique. The cross validation is largely used in the settings where the target is a prediction and it is necessary to estimate the accuracy of the performance of a predictive model. So to estimate any one of the to estimate any one of the data set or to estimate the statistical representation of the um, any one of the data or predictive model, the cross validation will be used. The cross validation is one of the important test method used in the classifier tab. So in this classifier, the classification methods will be applied by using the J48 classifier or any one of the classifier. After applying the classifiers, you have to use any one of the test method, whether the training set method or cross validation or percent split. According to this process, overall the accuracy will be uh, slightly varies between the cross validation changing of the number of folds. So the folds will be variation. That means. We can change the number of folds by using a test methods. By these test methods, the folds will be varies. That means the decision tree, the other the classifier will test method will be run this process. The evaluation process will be variation between the if you change the number of folds. That means a percentage splitting. When compared to the percentage splitting or the use training set, use training data, the cross validation will be a little different and it gives a clear representation with, by using a statistical method and it gives a necessary to estimate the accuracy of the performance of a predictive model. So this is a cross validation. In this cross validation process to draw to construct any decision tree. How to construct any decision tree is already discussed in the previous one. Now uh, we'll go to the again, we'll tell you how to explore the overall data. First load the data set. Load the uh, defaultly we are using a credit data set. So load the credit data set. Okay. After loading the data set, check the attributes and the instances and everything. Then go to the classify tab, apply the J48 classifier. And this J48 classifier will be there in the trace. Here you can apply the J48 classifier. Now, after applying the J48 classifier, you have, an, you have to select the, any one of the test method, but we are discussing about only the cross validation means. So where we'll go to the first, we'll go to the cross validation. Otherwise check the accuracy of the training set method. What is the accuracy you'll get? Here you can check the accuracy of the J48 by using a training set method. The accuracy will be the 855, that is a 8.5 will be the correctly classified and 145, that means 14.5 percentage will be the incorrectly classified by using the J48 use training set method. Now check by using the cross validation method, how the cross validation method will be done. Uh, in this cross validation, the default, it will take some 10 folds in the cross validation. So uh, keep the 10 folds like that only and uh, check that uh, run the process by selecting the start button. Now check the percentage of the cross validation by using it 10 folds. That is 
705, that is a 705, 70.5 percentage will be correctly classified when compared to the used training set method, it is an 85.5 percentage. So if you see the training accuracy, that accuracy of the, by using a test method, uh, training set, the accuracy will be the varies between the 15 percentage will be varied. That means uh, by using a training set, it's an 85 percentage. By using a cross validation with a 10 number of folds, that is a 70.5 percent. Why the difference will be occurred means if you change the cross validation on the training set method, the test method, so the testing process of the overall data set will be different within a different classifiers. So the cross validation will have 10 folds, we got in a 70.5 percentage. And if you go with an A, So the accuracy of the ten folds will be changed here. So change the cross validation number of folds go to the five, and run the execution. Now check the accuracy. So here the accuracy will be varied. That is a correctly classified instances of the seventy three percentage. So in the previously when you run with an a ten folds, the accuracy will be the seventy point five percentage. Now if you run with an a five folds, the accuracy will be the seventy three point five. So the accuracy will be increased from the ten folds to the Five folds. Like that, only you have to check whether the if you change the number of folds by to three. Now check how it is the accuracy. So if you check with an accuracy that is a seventy point three, that is a three folds. The accuracy will remain the same with an assembler number of folds of the seven ten folds and the number of folds is a three. So uh, when you compare with an accuracy levels, uh, if you changing the test method options uh, from the number of folds that is a ten five three. So from ten to the five. The accuracy will increase and 10 to the 3, the accuracy remains the constant of the overall J48 classifier. If you apply any one of the other classifier, for example, I want to apply any other classifier that is uh, random tree run the by using the force we have to run with a training set the training set will have a hundred percent accuracy that is a thousand instances of correctly classified that is a full fledgedly hundred percent accuracy will got the use training set if you go to the cross validation method in this cross validation method check the 10 folds so the accuracy will be fall down from the six from the hundred percent to the six seventy one percentage, and if you check the same like with an F five folds, the accuracy will be the same similarly and a slightly difference with an F from ten folds to the five folds, and go with an F three folds, the accuracy will be the same. So in the cross validation of the overall uh, random tree, we'll go into the uh, just slight difference from the 20 to 10 percentage only the increasing it's uh, go, coming down from the 650 to the 620 and 635. So with a training set that is the original training set we have a 100 percent accuracy we got and the cross validation we are getting an only 650 that is a 65 percent of accuracy will come in. So in the overall process the overall of the uh, J48 classifier the force will got an 85 percentage and if you apply the 10 folds we got a 70 percentage if you apply the five folds, that is a 73 percentage. That means it's increased, decreased from the 75 to the 73. That is a two percent will be decreased from the accuracy levels. And when you go to the three percentage, it's a 70.5 only. So with the 10 folds and the five fold, three folds will remain the accuracy will be the constant. And when you go to the five folds, the accuracy levels will be the slightly increased by using the J48 classifier. If you use the same with a random tree process also. The random tree will get a 62 percentage, uh, 100 percentage for the use training set test method. If you apply the 10 folds, it go to the 67 percentage, and five folds, it's a gout and a fall down. That is a 20 percentage will be fall down. That is a 65.7 percentage of the accuracy will be getting. And if you use the uh, three folds, it got a little slide down from the 62.3 62 percentage will be there. So. If you go with an overall process, the decision tree, the cross validation, the training set will be used the cross validation. The report of the overall process will be like this. So uh, if you use a cross validation method by using the J48 classifier and the random tree, the accuracy level will be the increasing from the one fold to the, that is a 
from the cross validation 10 folds to the 3 folds it's a remainder constant and if you use the cross validation of the 10 folds to the 5 folds it's giving it in a slight difference as that is a slight decreasing of the overall percentage will be occurred so the overall process of these will be the gives an a clear information that the validation cross validation depending of that particular attribute selections depending of that particular data set the cross validation will be vary between the uh, slightly difference between the accuracy levels by using the overall process so that is a process and uh, you can write down the procedure So here, open the Vekai Explorer and click on the Explorer. Load the data set by using the credit data set. Under the Classify tab, select the J48 classifier in the tree and test method as a training set. And click on Start for note the results. After updating the results, go to the step three. Repeat the step three by changing the test option as a cross validation for folds of the three, five, ten. So well, then you can check the accuracy level whether it be increasing or decreasing will be identified very clearly. And it's really represented as a cross validation method. Thank you, guys.